Hello and welcome to your TV license questions answered, part four. You'd think I would have run out of questions by now, but you guys are so good. You keep leaving great comments and you keep leaving great questions. And as long as you keep doing that, I'll keep doing these. Before we start, I just want to let you know that I've launched a website now as well, tvlicensestop.co.uk. And it's aimed at helping normal people like us to easily and peacefully cancel our TV licenses. So pop across over there, take a look and share it on your social media and let everybody know. Don't go now, watch this video. After this video, I'll put a link below, then you can go and have a, have a look at the website. Anyway, let's crack on. We've got a basic Netflix and it has some old BBC programs. Can we watch them without a license? Yeah, you can. Just the other day, I was on Netflix and I watched the entirety of The Office in one hit, and that's BBC. Um, so yeah, it's fine. Any BBC content you find on Netflix, you find on Amazon, places like that, is fine. The only place you can't stream BBC content from is BBC iPlayer. But if you find it anywhere else, it's fair game, you carry on. Cancelled mine four years ago. No one has ever knocked on my door, I will never speak to them anyway. But this is the vast majority of people's experiences with this. You see these videos of people screaming and shouting on their doorstep. You don't need to do that. Most of the time you're not even going to get a visit. If you do, be polite, close the door. So, thank you. Yeah, good comment. Four years free. No, no visit. He's done well. Maybe he lives out in the middle of nowhere or something. Also, now that most Freeview TVs come pre-programmed channels, including Now TV, and all the rest come with BBC iPlayer built in, does that constitute a right for the BBC to demand a TV licence from the people who don't watch live TV, although we might watch Now TV? Yeah, I mean, some conspiracy theorists might say that BBC iPlayer has been bundled on these smart TVs to scare people into paying for the TV licence. But the licence isn't based on you having the ability to receive it. You can have all the equipment you want that can receive live TV and BBC iPlayer. It's whether you use it is whether you need a licence. My smart TV, for instance, had BBC iPlayer built in and it could not remove it. It's ridiculous. So what I did in the end, I reset up the TV from scratch and where it said select your country, I just selected Spain and it all disappeared. And, but it's no biggie to me because I use the Amazon sticks anyway. I just didn't want it on my TV. But yeah, it's a shitter really that you can't get rid of it. I think it's a joke. Um, but you don't have to use it just because it's there. So don't worry too much. If you really want it gone, change the country of your TV and it won't install. Simple. Hi John, many thanks for this. I have just cancelled. I was always put off because of all that confusing stuff about implied access and those aggro videos on people's doorsteps. I've done it using your second method via the licensing website. I'll let you know how it goes. I feel like a cloud has just been lifted, Pete. Well, Pete, brilliant. Um, I'm guessing I had something to do with your decision cancelling the TV licence, and that's fantastic. I get these messages every day from people, and um, I'm just glad to be helping people. That's what I do this channel for, you know, and that's why I've just launched the new website, tvlicensestop.co.uk, to help people like you, Pete, to cancel your TV licence. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of the other places that talk about cancelling your TV licence tell you to film the doorstep people and shout at them. They tell you to revoke implied rights of access. They make it scary for normal people like me and you. And you don't need to do any of that stuff. You just don't. It's so simple. You fill in the form, sit back and relax. If someone knocks on your door, you say, no, thank you, you close the door. And that's it. That is all you've got to do. So, excellent. But yeah, keep in touch, mate. And uh, let me know how it goes, if you get any visits or how many letters and things you get. Also, let me know what you spent your... Uh, next year's license fee on, because that's a few quid. Have a holiday or something, once you can, obviously. I get smug satisfaction that Royal Mail and the Posties earn some money for the BBC scandalous warning letters. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a good one. I mean, think how many people are cancelling at the minute, it's mad. They must be sending out millions of letters. And another good thing to come from that is Royal Mail getting a bit of extra work. So yeah, no, good comment. Loving these vids. My license is up for renewal and I want to dump it along with my Sky subscription. Unfortunately, I'm locked into Sky until Feb 21. My question is, if I cancel my TV license, are they able or are Sky obligated to tell them I have a Sky subscription? Uh, it's a shame you're locked in till 2021. Maybe give them a call and just say you're emigrating or beg and plead and you never know, you might get lucky and uh, they let you out early. Uh, if you cancel your TV license, are Sky obligated to tell the BBC or Capita or whatever that you have a TV license? No, uh, I don't think they would. Maybe they could. Um, if you cancel your TV license and they find out that you've got a Sky, live Sky subscription, which can happen, 
then obviously you're going to be in a lot of trouble because you're watching live TV. What I would do, and it pains me to say it, is keep your TV licence until Feb 21. Carry on enjoying your Sky and everything as you are now. And then in Feb 21, cancel your TV licence, cancel your Sky, get Now TV, save yourself a fortune, and enjoy watching what you want whenever you want to watch it. But, um, yeah, I don't think they would tell them. But, I mean, why risk it? Why risk it? I get the feeling the dipshits with camera phones do watch live BBC TV and it's on principle loosely based on 70s entertainers that they refuse to pay. Some folks just aren't interested in TV, it's just an ornament sat in the corner. Same kind of people that abuse traffic wardens. Traffic wardens don't want to be traffic wardens, but it's a job. I have decided not to renew my licence. I've rung them up and filled an online form. Apparently I don't need to do anything for two years. If they want to pop round once a year, I have no objection to giving them a tour of my living room if need be. I don't watch and I don't wish to pay for a service I don't use. Got no intention of being a dick about it. Cheers for the info. Yeah, I don't like the people on the camera phones filming it and shouting and I can't speak for them all, but it does look sometimes like they might have something to hide, but you know, it's only my opinion. I can't base that on anything. Um, yeah, some people have a TV, never use it. Why should they pay for a license? You're right. Uh, traffic wardens. Yeah, that's awful people, awful people. But they're the same as the capital license inspectors, you know. They're not doing a lovely job that people like, but they've probably got a family to feed. They've probably got rent or mortgage to pay. And you, sometimes you've got to do what you've got to do, and it might not be a very nice job. So that's why I don't give these people too much trouble. Uh, you decided not to renew your licence, you rung them up, you filled in the form, you've done it right, well done. Uh, hopefully you, you took my, you got the advice from me for that, and uh, I'm glad if you did. What I will say is, you're saying you've got no objection to uh, giving them a tour of your living room. Don't do that. Don't do that. These people get paid on selling you a license or by getting you a fine. That's where they get their commission. Don't give them a chance. Don't give them a chance to stitch you up. You know, never, ever, ever, don't let them in your house. If you knock on the door, you open it up, I'm from TV licensing, bang, get that door shut. Get it shut nice and quick. There's no point, there's absolutely no point getting involved with these people or having conversations. So just get that door shut, sign nothing, don't let them in. But you're doing it the right way, and yeah, well done. Another person that's going to help change this whole situation with the TV license, so well done. Great vid. Can I ask, have you had any visits where you let them in? Because I've read they lie anyway and say you're watching it. Also, uh, what with people cutting their cables and aerials and taking down the dish. Why? Just because you can get the programs doesn't mean you're watching them. Yeah, you're right. The licence fee isn't based on whether you have the equipment to watch live TV or BBC iPlayer. It's based on whether you do choose to do that. So, my house still has a Sky dish on the side of it from when I moved in. I'm not going to pay someone to take it down. I can't be asked. It's not hurting me. It's up there. I don't use it. I don't have Sky. But it's fine to have it. I've also got a, um, an aerial but I don't use it. You know, I don't. I put the blanking plate in, I don't use it. Would I let them in? No, never. Never, I just wouldn't let them in. Why? There, there is evidence to say that they're stitching some people up. So why put yourself at risk? Even if you're playing a straight game, why put yourself at risk? You know, just, um, just close the door. Just close the door, say goodbye, be polite. Hi there, so I've been ignoring TV license letters for about a year and a half. I just received a letter with my name on it, which is weird since I've never been in touch with them since moving to this flat. I feel a bit threatened now knowing they have my name. How should I proceed? Yeah, I've said this before in my first video, you know, even if you fill it in as the occupier or anything, it's not hard to find out who's living at an address. I mean, you can go to 192.com now and check an address and find out who's living there with their date of birth and everything. It's not hard. Would TV licensing do that? Maybe. Maybe it would breach some kind of new European data law or something. I don't know. But it's not hard to get, so I'm not surprised at that. But you've been ignoring them for a year and a half. You know what you're doing. You've got it under control. You're not worried by it. So just carry on. If you want to fill in the form to stop some letters coming, do it. If not, carry on as the way you're doing. You seem to know what you're doing. You seem to have it all under control. Don't worry. I haven't paid my TV license for over 10 years, and here's how. Step one. Remember what their letters look like. They're all the same. Step two. Immediately throw those letters in the bin. Step three. Carry on with your life. In the unlikely event that you get a visit from them, just don't even engage. I've had one visit in 10 years and I just closed the door on his face. 10 years of empty threats. Perfectly excellent comment you got going on there. You know, you don't need to fill in the form if you don't want to do it. You can just ignore them. They knock on your door, you close the door. You've got it well under control. 10 years, you've been license free. Nothing scary's happened to you, has it? Brilliant. So yeah, thank you. That was a nice comment. Thank you. 
I know this sounds stupid, but I want to cut the aerial lead coming into my house. Is it okay to cut with pliers? Obviously, I don't think it's a live wire. Sorry, I'm on my own. I can only ask you. Oh dear, your poor kitchen. Yeah, the kitchen's getting repaired as we speak, so hopefully I should be back in my own place again. Now, you want to cut your aerial lead. Now, you can cut an aerial lead with pliers, scissors. It's not a live wire, okay? But please promise me, double, triple, quadruple check that it is definitely the aerial lead that you're cutting. Please, because I don't want to be responsible for you cutting a wire with 240 volts going through it and getting electrocuted. That's the last thing I want. If I'm the only person you've got to ask, I will put my email address in the, uh, in the description box below. Email me directly a picture of the wire you want to cut and I will let you know. But have a look, if this is the aerial lead, you've got, you'll have an aerial connector on the end of it. You can probably just unscrew that, take it off, throw it away, bundle the wire up, tape it up and hide it and that's perfectly fine just to do that rather than cutting it if you're worried. You can cut them if you know it's definitely aerial, not a problem, but please, please don't just cut a wire if you're not 100% sure on it is. All these videos are stupid, so the geezer has no laptop or TV anymore. He's another one of those people that think if you have a TV, you have to have a TV license. If you have a computer, you have to have a TV license. It's, we need to help people understand that you can have all the TVs you want. You can have hundreds of TVs, you can have a wall of nothing but TVs, and you still don't need a TV license. The license is based on whether you use that equipment to access broadcast TV and BBC iPlayer. If you don't, you don't need a TV license, you can still have your telly. We need to help these people understand. And if you go to tvlicensestop.co.uk, my new website, it's set out for people just like us, normal people, in easy, easy steps to follow and gives you all the information you need to help other people understand, so share it on your social media. Just cancelled my licence over the phone. I was asked why, so started to say I was sick and tired of the BBC and got the impression he had heard it all before. I've unplugged the aerial and job done, awaiting refund, thanks for your help. Well, great, um, I hope it was me that helped you decide to do that, it's another person. I've helped many people now and I'm really happy to help. Keep in touch, let me know um, what happens if you get any visits or anything and let me know when your refund comes through. Now I'm hearing this a lot about people phoning up to cancel, saying the people on the other end of the phone are very pleasant and very polite and just want to get the job done. I mean, if you work in that call centre all day long, you're going to be taking phone calls from people saying, I want to cancel my TV licence. So if they know you're clued up and what you need to have a licence for, then they just want to get you off the phone, just get it processed. So uh, yeah, excellent. I'm glad to have helped another person. After watching your videos, I cancelled a direct debit and filled out a form a couple of weeks ago, but a letter came through yesterday, but it's in my wife's name. Should I get her to fill in the form in her name also, or just leave it? Thanks for any help. Well, you've done your bit. You've said that you don't need a licence on that address. Maybe they're just fishing just to see who else is at that address and pushing. I don't know how they work internally. Um, but you've done your bit, so you don't have to. If she starts getting tons of letters from them, and it's agging you out a bit then you can get her to fill the form in in her name and that should stop some of the letters but otherwise you've done your bit if they want to keep sending letters and paying for the postage that's up to them isn't it but yeah you've done your bit don't worry hi john wondering if you've heard about some of the other ways they have discussed to continue funding the bbc such as the entertainment levy for every house that has a broadband connection or adding an actual tax via general taxation apparently this is how it's done in finland or something do you have any opinions on these Cheers. Yeah, this is my one worry with fighting this fight. I mean, I do all these YouTube videos. I've now got the website tvlicensestop.co.uk to help people cancel their TV license. And the more people that cancel, hopefully the whole thing will be abolished and the BBC will have to find a better funding method like subscription-based or just go commercial is what I think they should do. My biggest fear is that they're so government-protected that the government might just change it from a license just to a tax that everybody has to pay and then the BBC carry on as they are. That's my one, one fear in this whole fight. I really hope it doesn't happen. I really hope that doesn't happen. So that's it for the questions today. Don't forget to pop along to tvlicensestop.co.uk. Have a look there and share it around with your friends. You can see from all the comments how many people I've helped cancel their TV licenses and the money that I've saved people. So if you want to support what I'm doing, best way to do that is just to like the video, subscribe and leave a comment and then that bumps them up higher in YouTube. If you really want to support what I'm doing, pop over to the website tvlicensestop.co.uk, share that around or if you need things like a new Amazon stick or you need now TV vouchers for entertainment passes, whatever, you can buy them on my website via Amazon 
and I'll get a little kickback for that and that will help go towards funding the website because websites, they're not free. So I've had to pay some money out to get that going. And if you guys could help support that, it'd be wonderful. Thank you very much. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.